The following is a paid program sponsored by Trivita. Trivita Wellness presents Wonderful You. You were created in God's image to be His temple. Your unique genetic blueprint is a miracle capable of adapting to the many challenges that you will face. He designed your body with over 75 trillion cells and essential body systems to heal, renew, and restore so you can not just survive, but thrive. You were born with purpose and God's purpose for your life. Welcome to Wonderful You. Welcome to Wonderful You, where your wellness is our purpose and God's purpose for your life. I'm Bronwyn Eisen, and today we have another wonderful program with the founder of Trivita Wellness, Michael Ellison, and Dr. Paul Burnett, Director of Wellness Services. Another great show ahead. It's great this is a here. good news show. That's right, it sure is. <laughs> wellness for our purpose, for sure. Yeah, it certainly will be. And today's program is all about brain health and what we can do to keep our minds sharp. Our brains are responsible for coordinating actions and reactions. The brain also allows us to think feel and enables us to have memories. Isn't that right, Paul? Absolutely, and we're gonna talk about how our thoughts and feelings can really have an effect positively or negatively on our overall health. Yeah, that's right, and our brains are hard at work each day, and it's believed that we average about 6,000 thoughts per day. Just the simple thought of that may make your brain feel tired. And these thoughts can range from positive to negative to worry and so on. And as we mature with age, you may find that you are experiencing brain fog or something more serious. And if it's not you, then you may notice these characteristics in a loved one. Cognitive decline is a real concern and affects millions of people, which is why today's program is so important and one you don't want to miss. Because our brains are responsible for so much and grants us independence in our daily life, there are many ways in which we can take care of our brain health. Today, we're going to talk about how stress can have an effect on your brain and how consistent movement or having a workout routine is beneficial, plus the importance of getting plenty of sleep and how brain games can keep your mind sharp. These are all natural prescriptions for a healthier you, and Dr. Paul will take us through numbers that matter as it relates to your brain health. So you won't want to miss today's program and how you can get your body thriving in the way God has designed it to be. Your lifestyle, diet, and how you additionally supplement in your daily life may have everything to do with how you can support your brain health. And because our bodies are so miraculous, each week, Michael, you take us through a beautiful scripture. What do you have for us today? I do have a wonderful scripture. You know, we live in a society that seems to have a lot of doom and gloom. Right. And fear seems to be a marketing strategy that people use. Well, I have good news. I said it was good news. <laughs> well, it is a good news. And I'm, I'm reading today from the New King James. And here's what God says to us. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think, <laughs> according to the power that works in us, to him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. I just think it's so amazing that the scriptures continually talk about the way that we think, the way that we talk, the way that we act. And when we go to these kind of scriptures and we know that God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly, more than we're able to ask and think, I believe that you today are going to hear, this is the Bible based part of it. You're also going to hear the science side of it. And Dr. Paul is going to take us through a lot of science. And that is the balance that we continue to strive for here at Trivita and on Wonderful You. Oh, thank you, Michael. Cognitive decline can be a serious matter, which can also affect our mood. And if not addressed, can lead to a lack of independence and dependence on others. But today we have very good news. You are about to learn how supplementation, a healthy diet, good sleep, and movement are exactly what you need to thrive. Dr. Paul has a health alert today, and it's about how stress can have a significant impact on your brain. Isn't that right? Yeah, you know, there's so much that goes on that we get exposed to every single day, exactly. right? I mean, it's just, you can't hardly control all of the information that's coming at us in a thousand different ways. But I want everybody to know that you have really three brains you're like, three brains? What are you talking about? <laughs> it's, it's almost comical, but it's true. So you got about 100 billion neurons in your actual brain, so the organ of your brain itself. 
Wonderful you. Wonderful <laughs> you, yeah, 100 billion, that's a lot. Uh, but we also have 100 million neurons in our gut. Mm. Have you ever had that gut feeling, that knowing that something beyond your current comprehension of what you could think through, and all of a sudden it's like, wow, you know, that, that's something different. That's really those neurons at work, and they work through your vagus nerve up into your actual brain itself, and it's an amazing, amazing system there. But we also have about 40,000 neurons, guess where? Right here in our heart. Mm -hmm. Right here in our heart. And of course, we know about belief and wisdom mm -hmm. and, 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 and discernment and all of those kinds of things, right? And that, that comes from the heart. The scriptures support that. And isn't it amazing how the Bible could talk about these different elements and have no science to back it up? But it's amazing what God can do, but it's amazing as the scripture you shared today, all of that is happening beyond what we can ask or think within Amen. us within us. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. So, you know, I want to talk about this word psychosomatic. And you think, well, what, what in the world is psychosomatic? I want you to think about how thoughts and feelings, positive or negative, could influence how your body reacts or responds, right? And so as you start to think about that, you think, well, yeah, if I'm really stressed, sometimes I notice my heart rate go up, some people's blood pressure goes up. I mean, th there's a whole bunch of different things. One of the things that you can notice when you're stressed, if you really pay attention, is tension. Mm -hmm. We tend to tense up, right? Because it's like, oh, something's wrong, right? And what we have to understand is, is that the, all three of those brains are working together, right? To try to figure out what in the world's going on outside of the body. And then inside it needs to respond or react to what, what you're telling it. So really that psychosomatic is the psycho brain thinking, right? Feeling. And then somatic, soma, body. And so when we begin to understand that, we can start to relate how we think and how we feel to how the body is responding. So I want you to think about positive thinking, <laughs> something good. You know, gratitude is a great way to do this, oh, right? I sure. mean, you just shift your whole world and gratitude's available to us all the time. And, and, and yet sometimes we get stuck in the rut of negativity, overthinking, you know, rumination, stress, and you know, that leads to anxiousness and I feel depressed or melancholy. Well, what's triggering all of this, right? So what we know is, is that we have not only this experience that we're feeling, but that became real to our bodies. The thought plus emotion mm -hmm. equals real, mm -hmm. both perceived and what's really happening. So if we're constantly telling our bodies that there's bears out there and the bear's claws are getting longer and there's more bears than there's ever been, well, how's that body gonna react? Well, it's gonna add something called chemicals to that. And we're gonna talk about that in a little bit, but, but you gotta understand every thought, every feeling, that body is doing an amazing job to respond in the best way that it can. Yeah, when you were sharing there, Paul, it kind of reminded me of sitting in the uh, uh, medical clinic and my doctor said this to me. This is when I was in my health crisis. They said, Michael, you must change the way you think about health and life and if you don't, you will have no quality of life and you will die a premature death. I'll never forget those words when the doctor shared that with me. You must change the way you think. I don't know if they realized how profound that was to me, but it was like, okay, I'm not happy with the results that I'm living with. I'm not happy with the pain that I feel in my body. I'm not happy with the stress that I feel. Change the way you think, Michael. Well, here's how I thought about sleep. You talked about sleep. I thought sleep was a waste of time after four hours. Why would you want to sleep after four hours when there's so many things you could be doing? And for me, I was involved in Christian ministry all over the world, okay, consulting with, with media ministries. And I thought, I'm doing God's purpose, I'm doing His, but I was living a life in sleep deprivation, mm -hmm. in stress, and my body crashed. You must change the way you think and I did, and wow, 
what a radical difference, right, in the way that I thought and the outcome that occurred right here. Yeah, so, you know, what we're really talking about is the ability to sleep, right? Do I possess the ability to sleep? Well, a lot of that can have to do with the way we think, yes. what we're thinking about, the feelings that are generated through that. But let's just kind of take the story a little bit further. You guys ready for this? Yeah. Because, you know, again, it's not just the thought and it's not just the feeling. It's the chemical and energetic response in the body that's gonna trigger either, hey, uh, we're, we need to focus on survival or thriving. Survive or thrive, right? There's no kind of middle ground there. So as we're going through here, we have to realize that there are these uh, synapses in which uh, these little neurons in, 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 in connect to each other and they share information, right? And so out of that, we're going to have things called neurotransmitters, right? Which are little tiny chemicals. And there are good ones like uh, dopamine, serotonin, uh, norepinephrine, endorphins, all those get to get shared when we're thinking about good things, mm -hmm. positive things, all of that is working together. But we also have to realize when we start going dark, when our thoughts start going dark, well, what's gonna get released there? Cortisol at unhealthy levels. We need healthy cortisol, right? But also adrenaline. You know, one of the things about cortisol leads to more anxiety, uh, depression, self-doubt, and other negative feelings. And so we wanna try to stray away from those chronically. We're all gonna have a bad day. You ever had a bad day, Michael? Oh, for sure. <laughs> I've had a bad day, you sure. brown one. So you're gonna have a bad day, but the good news is you survived all your worst days. You're still here. And so that's building resilience. And it, the better you can start to think and feel, the better off your body's gonna be overall. So our audience has probably heard the terms cortisol and adrenaline. So my question to you, what produces cortisol and what causes adrenaline? Right, so our adrenal glands are gonna produce both of those. What I want people to know is that you need both of these, okay? So cortisol as an example is gonna help you wake up in the morning and it's gonna help you as it diminishes to go back to sleep. And adrenaline's really there too to keep you kind of going, right? You always wanna have kind of an edge, right? I want an edge, I know you guys do as well. But what we have to understand is, is when there's too much of that, right? Too much and it's chronic and it's over time, long periods of time. This can really cause cognitive decline. This is what the science is showing us. So uh, one thing I know and one thing all of you out there know as well is that nobody thinks my thoughts for me. Nobody thinks or feels my feelings. I choose those. You choose those. And so if I can choose to think about something negative and I can catch myself, we all get there, uh, sure. then I can then shift that. And I'll tell you, gratitude has been one of the greatest, right. precious gems available to every human being on the planet because it can immediately change what you're thinking about, more positive, right? And it can also change how we feel immediately. And just remember, those, those good neurotransmitters that we want, dopamine and serotonin and all that, those get released rather than inhibited. So I want to talk a little bit now about something that is found in nature that I think there's a bit of a stigma around because of a, a pharmaceutical form of what I'm going to talk about. But what I'm going to talk right now about is a non-pharmaceutical form. And that is called lithium orotate. And I know out there you think, oh, lithium, you know, oh, I've heard about that. And that's got side effects and so on and so forth. Well, I want everybody to know. Let's diffuse all that, right? All right. And let's think about what it really is in the form of lithium or orotate. Lithium orotate is a smaller molecule and it's found in our water. It's found in food. There was a study done that was done in uh, Texas and what they found was is there was higher amounts of lithium in the drinking water in that area. And what they noticed was that there was less suicide, less, you know, all of the, 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 the negative side of, of, of not being able to stabilize their, their moods and all kinds, that was far less than other places. And so, but again, this is lithium orotate, not the prescription form. And so there are no side effects for this. Well, guess what? 
we know the benefits of it, right? So why not put it into our daily regimen, right? Because you may live in an area where you don't have high lithium amounts. You know, here in Arizona, we don't have that. But there are amazing ways we can get that. And what I want people to know is it, it, it can reduce cognitive decline, right? And so that's really what we're looking for. And we want to be more supportive of healthy brain activity. And, you know, we want to avoid the insomnia. We want to avoid the anxiety, the depression, the, all of the things that come with an unhealthy brain that doesn't maybe have enough of this mineral salt. And what we really want is deep, good sleep. We want to have healthy thoughts. We want to feel good. We want to be able to go out and have our cognitive function high. These are the things we want. And we're not trying to avoid all the negativity. We're trying to minimize that. And so we can become more resilient in our daily lives. Uh, Paul, that study uh, that you are referring to is an amazing study, and it's listed at National Institute of Health, just for our viewers to know that. And one of the things that I'd like to, you know, just inject here is we're not uh, diagnosing or treating or preventing disease. And that's important for you as a viewer to know that uh, in the way that, but it's information that I think is really important for you to understand and to know you can do things to help reduce your risk, right, of dementia and other aspects of cognitive de decline. So today, we just want you to know that this is about how to empower you to live the life to support the wonderful brain that God gave you. That's right, and this is a really good time now to talk about numbers that matter, you know, a good baseline. So what can you tell us about that, Paul? So absolutely, there are numbers that we need to know that matter to our cognitive health, right? And so one of those is managing C-reactive protein, which is a marker for chronic inflammation, right? We all know that chronic inflammation can be harmful. So, you know, we wanna be less than two on our CRP test, uh, ideally less than one. Um, also with A1C, which is our blood sugar, right? We wanna be less than five. This is gonna help our brains work better. Uh, triglycerides, a fatty energy kind of substance that gets in our blood, less than 150 for triglycerides. Uh, this other interesting thing, insulin growth factor, right? So what we know about that is that, you know, as that diminishes, we're at higher risk for type two diabetes, but also type three, which is known as Alzheimer's and dementia. Um, again, that's gonna vary based on gender and age, so talk to your doctor about that. Uh, also, uh, your morning cortisol level should be somewhere between five and 25. Uh, exercise is really important. 150 minutes, right, if a number that matters is 150 minutes of aerobic type exercise um, and, and doing that on a weekly basis. Also, three or more resistance training efforts, you know, where you're working all the major muscle groups. And then the important one is sleep. We mm -hmm. need restorative For sleep. Sure. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Well, our numbers do matter. And we also know that there is evidence to support that brain games such as Sudoku, crossword puzzles, playing cards, and even coloring can keep our minds active as well as relieve stress, reduce anxiety, lift our mood, and can help us feel confident. In a fast-paced world where our minds are constantly bombarded with information, it's important to take a moment to give our brains the exercise they deserve. Today, we'll explore three activities proven to benefit the brain, Sudoku, puzzles, and adult coloring. Let's start with Sudoku. This number-based puzzle isn't just a fun pastime. It actually enhances cognitive abilities. Studies have shown that regular Sudoku practice stimulates the brain, improving logical thinking, memory, and concentration. Next, we have puzzles. Whether it's a jigsaw puzzle or a brain teaser, these mind-bending challenges do wonders for our mental health. Engaging in puzzles activates multiple regions of the brain, strengthening problem-solving skills, spatial reasoning, and boosting creativity. Finally, we have adult coloring. This seemingly simple activity has profound impact on your well-being. Coloring complex patterns and designs triggers a meditative state, reducing stress and anxiety. It allows our brains to relax and promotes mindfulness, focus, and a sense of inner calm. 
But don't just take our word for it. According to scientific research, 84% of regular Sudoku players experience improved mental agility, while 92% of puzzle enthusiasts report enhanced problem-solving skills. Moreover, adult coloring has been found to reduce stress levels by 68% and increase overall happiness by 76%. So whether you're sharpening your mind with Sudoku, challenging your intellect with puzzles, or finding serenity through adult coloring, remember that these activities aren't just leisurely pursuits. They're brain-boosting powerhouses that improve cognitive function, reduce stress, and bring joy to your life. Give your brain the exercise it deserves and unlock its full potential. Bronwyn, that was really great information. Uh, I enjoyed the color book. Yeah, me too. And you know, Michael and Paul, and to our audience, I mean, I sat down and started coloring, and my daughters and my mom, what are you doing? All of a sudden, they picked up pens, and we stood there, actually standing there, and colored for about 45 minutes. We had a great time, and it was great for bonding as well. Well, then I could do that one, because it's got the lines that I could color <laughs> in. Stay inside okay, the lines. Because I'm not uh, overly artistic, <laughs> but it was really well done. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, and I had a good time doing it. And because our brains are one of our most important organs, it's you know really important also to supplement, say, with NeuroShine. So tell us more about NeuroShine, Paul. Yeah, I'll tell you, and, and Michael's really going to get into the yeah. reason why, but let me just briefly briefly cover what these ingredients are, what the science supports about these ingredients. So, you know, uh, Bacopa Mineri is an aquatic um, plant that has been shown to enhance memory and overall cognitive function. Uh, panathenic acid or B5, you know, this is really working with those brain cells to create those neural pathways super important for that shared information we talked about between those uh, 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 points where they're sharing information like that. And then also uh, lithium ortate, you know, we talked a lot about this already. This is a low dose in here, really gonna help you feel better. And what I found is, is that the users of that feel better and, and also brighter. You know, being 77 years of age, uh, I wanted to find every which way that I could to be able to support my brain. And last week, in case you, the viewer, happened to see, I introduced my mom and the way that she was, and unfortunately, the way that she was at the end of her life. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't want our viewers to experience that. I don't want to experience that. And so, one of the things is being the founder of Trivita and wellness is so important and brain health is so important, it's like, I'm going to find a formula that is affordable, because I want the masses to enjoy that, mm -hmm. but I want it to deliver in a multi-dimensional way, just like the formula ingredients that you talked about, you know, Paul, as far as related to it. And so one of the things that we did is that we invited doctors to come together as a project team. And one of the doctors was from Mayo Clinic, over 22 years at Mayo Clinic, and he also chaired the pharmaceutical review board. So every prescription that Mayo Clinic recommends, whether it's in Rochester, whether it's here in Arizona or in Florida, goes before that board. So it was very uh, up to date in regard to the latest of what can be, be for supporting the brain. Well, as you've said in the past, Paul, there isn't a treatment for mm. some of those aspects but there's a way of supporting our brain. And that's what we're really trying to get across today. To you as a viewer, you can do the things to support the brain that God gave you. And we're sharing some of those things with you to empower you and to have hope and to believe in a wonderful uh, help that is coming your way through your <laughs> actions and your thoughts. So this product, one of the things that we keep hearing from people, it's like, I almost felt it immediately as soon as I took the product. Well, it is about mood and about feeling, but it's more than that. It's also about cognitive function and the science is there. And so we are thrilled to be able to have this product, NeuroShine, so that you can shine in your life and the things that you enjoy doing. Yeah, that's right. And that's so much wonderful and valuable information. And you are probably wondering how you can get your NeuroShine today. Here's how. Are you tired of feeling mentally fatigued? Could your mood and attitude be a little brighter? 
And do you struggle to remember even the little things that used to come so easily? If you can relate to these common problems, act now and start feeling better and brighter with NeuroShine. With just one capsule a day, you can improve mood, focus, and concentration and get back to feeling your best again. NeuroShine is a three-in-one supplement that contains three natural ingredients scientifically shown to support your mood, brain health, and improve cognitive function. This complex formula is rich in bacomind, lithium orotate, and panthothenic acid, better known as vitamin B5. The formula was developed by medical doctors for improved cognitive function, enhancement of memory performance in older people, and improved mood. Thousands of people have found NeuroShine to help them enjoy a better quality of life, improve their self-esteem, and enhance personal relationships. Many people report they can feel the effects of NeuroShine when they first start taking it. So call now and start living a brighter life with NeuroShine. Take advantage of an exclusive limited time offer. Buy a 30-day supply and get one free. Whether you decide to keep both for yourself or surprise a loved one, it's an opportunity you don't want to miss. Your mental and emotional health affects every aspect of your life. So for a brighter mood, a sharper mind, with more focus and memory, start taking NeuroShine and enjoy friends and family doing the things you love to do. Call or go online now. Because our brain plays such an active role in our overall health, it's important to keep an active mind with challenging activities and incorporating movement, which may drastically improve your quality of life. This is why in addition to healthy brain activities, following a healthy diet, exercising, and consistently supplementing may help with your overall health. We are God's temple and he desires for us to live long and prosperous lives. Michael, each week you take us through a beautiful prayer in closing. Thank you, Bronwyn. It is time to have that scripture prayer. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. And so therefore, dear God, we thank you because you promise us in your word that there is a desire that you have for us to have a sound mind. And we've heard so much information today. We're so grateful for the science. We're so grateful for your word. Now bless our viewers with wellness and may they be inspired to pursue supporting their brain and their life purpose. We pray this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you. And thank you for joining us today. Your wellness is our purpose and God's purpose for your life. If you'd like to enjoy more wonderful You Shows, you can view them on demand so that you can like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, be sure to share our program with your friends and family. Thank you and God bless. The preceding was a paid program sponsored by Trivita a Bible-based and science-supported ministry of wellness for purpose, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Your wellness is our purpose and God's purpose for your life.